Federal civil servants proving they are liberal shills. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. We saw it just after the, the Justin Trudeau liberal government was elected. The new prime minister went to the foreign affairs headquarters, was greeted by cheers, mobbed for selfies. Hey, that's not what you expect from a neutral civil service. And yet conservatives have long known that the civil service, and especially in a department like foreign affairs, is anything but neutral, that they were just waiting for the liberals, their true masters, to get back in power. Now we have more proof, and it comes to us courtesy of the American State Department. Back in 2012, a State Department official emailed another official. And this email was forwarded on to Hillary Clinton. That email released as part of the ongoing investigation into Clinton's secret email server and what she knew of on the night of the September 2012 Benghazi terrorist attacks. But in May 2012, Tom Adams, the U.S. State Department Special Envoy on Haiti, emails to a colleague explaining that he was shocked at the fact that Canadian officials were lobbying him to try and get the Americans to lobby Canada to do what the liberal, very liberal civil servants wanted done in the first place. Let me read to you from the email. Adams writes, I was a little astonished at how openly the career folks at the foreign and assistance ministries disliked their new political masters and wanted us to convince them not to cut Haiti. In my many years here, I have never seen such open disloyalty with a change of administrations, although the political appointees told me there was no need to have the secretary talk to Barrett about Haiti. The senior career folks on the margins implore, implored, implored me to have this done. Hillary Clinton, by the way, emailed back in response to this that she's happy to call Baird. Think about this. Canadian officials lobbying American officials to get their politicians to convince our politicians to do what the civil servants here want. That's not how it's supposed to work. The civil servant is supposed to carry out the, the dictates of the elected official. The elected official is who they answer to, the elected official in this country. Think about how this would look if Canadian officials were lobbying Republicans to get the Conservatives or the Liberals to do what they wanted. It would be a huge story. It would be disastrous. The civil service in this country, especially in foreign affairs, needs to be cleaned up. And the next time that a conservative is running for prime minister and says, don't worry about electing a, a conservative majority, I'm going to have to deal with the liberal bureaucrats, the media should remember this story instead of reaching for the smelling salts and acting as if they'd never heard that there are liberal civil servants.